guys, today we're going to draw a bird. Here is the line drawing and the colored in version. Let's get started. Just a little circle with a tiny little circle inside for a highlight. That's where the light reflects off of the eye. Then we're going to do another circle around that. And this is just a different color than the rest of the bird. Now I'm going to draw a line going over to the left to where the beak is going to start. curved line for the top of the beak and then we're going to take that out to a point. And bring it back to the bottom of that curved line. That's the top part of the beak. The bird has a little nostril up there. And the bottom part of the beak the same shape as the top, only smaller. Now we're going to do the big curved line for the top of the head. Now the feathers around the eye area are a little different color, so I'm going to draw that section and it'll help me work my way down to the rest of the bird. There's another different color back here. Curves down to where the head meets the back. Next is the shoulder kind of area. That's what separates the head from the rest of the body. From that point, we're going to curve back on top of the wings. And then we're going to meet it with this other curved line. But there's kind of a couple of little feathers right there. do that wing that's facing us. It's kind of tucked up next to the bird. So starting from this point, curving down and back. short curved line it doesn't have to be perfectly curved it can be a little bit wobbly that just shows that the bird has a lot of fluffy feathers going on so we'll do some more feather shapes down here draw the end part of that wing and it's also very bumpy to show all those little feather tips. And each of those little bumps has its own kind of feather shape. Then we're going 
gonna draw this other wing. We can't really see much of it, just a little bit peeking behind. So it's a long curved shape. It comes down and goes back up behind that other wing. And we've got maybe one little feather from it sticking out. Kind of longer than the rest. And that wing has all its little feathers kind of tucked up. Just shown by curved lines. Next we're going to draw the tail coming from this front wing. A curve down and it goes back up, comes back down and then goes up behind where those two wings meet. And let's add our nice long feathers sticking out of that tail. These are all just the same curved shape, tucked behind each other. And they go up and meet behind that first curved line here. We can add a little bit of detail there in the middle of each feather. Okay, now we got to finish this front part of the bird. So we're going to start underneath the beak. So all these little sections here are different colors when you color them in. of the bird comes out, follows that first curve from the wing, and goes up underneath that tail. Now we're going to do the feet. So this bird's resting on a branch. So we're not really going to see all the little toes. We're just going to see kind of where the leg comes down. It comes down at an angle. And then we see kind of the top part of that foot. And then we see this back part of the claw. front part of the foot disappears behind that branch. Same thing with this back foot. Can't really see a lot of it because it's tucked up behind the bird. But it comes down at an angle. And we see the top part of that foot. back claw. You can kind of see that there's, that suggests where that branch is going to go. So that's pretty much the bird. Now I'm just going to go around the rest of it and draw the branch that it's sitting on. I'm going to add some little cherry blossoms and leaves and kind of just fill in all the space around my bird.
Thanks again for following along guys and I can't wait to see your finished products. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends.